Good morning or afternoon, depending on when you're watching this presentation. My name is Timothy Moody, and I'm the CEO of First Line Leadership. I want to thank you for watching this video today because we are committed to helping businesses succeed through better communication. I'd also like to thank Prestige Worldwide, a company committed to good interpersonal relationships and allowing me and my team to assist in the growth of your organization. Today, we're going to discuss four main topics. Common challenges faced in cross-cultural communication, strategies you can use to overcome those barriers, five levels that can affect cross-cultural communication, and the importance of non-verbal communication. Cross-cultural com communication is about the way people from different cultures communicate when they deal with each other either at a distance or face-to-face. -face. Communication across cultures can be challenging due to differences in languages, values, beliefs, customs, and behaviors. Here are some specific challenges that may arise. Language barriers. The language difference can make it hard for people from different cultures to understand each other. Nonverbal communication. Different cultures have different nonverbal communication styles, such as gestures, facial expressions, and body language, which can be easily misinterpreted. Stereotyping. Stereotyping based on cultural differences can create misunderstandings and biases. Cultural differences in values. Different cultures have different values, which can cause conflicts in communication and lead to misunderstandings. Differences in perception. Different cultures have different ways of perceiving the world, and this can lead to different interpretations of the same situation. Ethnocentrism. It's the tendency to view one's own culture as superior to others, which can lead to a lack of empathy and understanding. Power distance. Different cultures have different power structures, and this can affect communication in terms of who speaks and who listens, and how decisions are made. Time orientation. Different cultures have different attitudes towards time, such as punctuality and deadlines, which cause conflicts in communication. And then high context versus low context communication. Different cultures have different communication styles, such as high context, which is implicit and direct, indirect, and low context, which is explicit and direct. These can create misunderstandings. High context cultures, such as China, might find it difficult to communicate with a low context culture, such as Germany. Here are some high strat correction. Here are some strategies that can help overcome cross-cultural communication barriers. First, develop cultural awareness. Learn about the culture, values, and customs and beliefs of the people you are communicating with. This will help you understand the perspective and avoid misunderstandings. Next, use simple language. Avoid using complex language or jargon that may be difficult for others to understand, especially if they're not native speakers of the language. Listen actively. Pay attention to what others are saying and ask questions to clarify any misunderstandings. This shows that you are interested in their perspective. Use nonverbal communication effectively. Be aware of your own nonverbal communication, such as gestures, facial expressions, and body language. Also, try to understand the nonverbal communication of others. Be patient. Anytime, it takes time to understand and communicate effectively with people from different cultures. Be patient and take the time to build trust and rapport. Avoid stereotypes. Avoiding, avoid making assumptions or stereotypes based on cultural differences. Treat everyone as an individual and try to understand their unique perspective. Use visual aids. Visual aids such as diagrams, pictures, and videos can be helpful in explaining complex concepts and bridging language barriers. And seek feedback. Ask for feedback from others to understand how effective your communication is and to identify areas for improvement. Five levels that can affect cultural communication are as follows. The individual level. At an individual level, differences in personality, communication, style, and personal values can affect cross-cultural communication. For example, some people may be more direct or indirect in their communication style, while others may place more or less emphasis on a hierarchy and formality. Interpersonal level. At the interpersonal level, the relationship between individuals can affect cross-cultural communication. Factors such as trust, empathy, and rapport can impact how effectively people communicate with each other. At a group level, differences in cultural norms and values can affect cross-cultural communication. For example, some cultures may place more emphasis on collectivism and group harmony, while others may prioritize individualism and personal achievement. At an organizational level, the culture of the organization can affect cross-cultural communication. 
Different organizations may have different communication norms, policies, and practices that can impact how effectively people from different cultures communicate with each other. And at the societal level, broader cultural and institutional factors can affect cross-cultural communication. Factors such as language, religion, history, and politics can affect how different cultures interact with each other. Now to nonverbal communication. Nonverbal communication refers to any communication that occurs without words, such as gestures, facial expressions, body language, and tone of voice. Different cultures have different nonverbal ways of delivering and interpreting information. Nonverbal communication is important for the following reasons. It enhances understanding. Nonverbal cues can help to clarify or reinforce the meaning of verbal communication. For example, a smile or a nod can indicate agreement and understanding, even if the words being spoken are in a different language. Expressing emotions. Nonverbal communication can convey emotions such as happiness, sadness, anger, or fear, which can be difficult to express through words sometimes. Building rapport. Nonverbal communication can help to establish a connection and build trust between people, especially in cross-cultural communication where verbal communication may be limited. Conveying status and power. Nonverbal cues such as posture, eye contact, and gestures can convey information about a person's status, power, and authority. Adapting to cultural norms. Nonverbal communication can help to adapt to cultural norms and expectations. Nonverbal communication can help to adapt to cultural norms and expectations. For example, in some cultures, direct eye contact may be seen as a sign of respect, while others, it may be considered rude or aggressive. Detecting deception. Nonverbal cues can help to detect deception or hidden emotions. For example, a person's body language or tone of voice may reveal that they are not being truthful or are feeling uncomfortable. As you can see, there are many aspects to cross-cultural communication that we have reckoned that we have to recognize and actively work on to have the best communication possible. Through good communication, we build relationships, and through relationships, we build organizations that both benefit us and the customers that we serve. Thank you again for watching today. I look forward to working with you again in the future.